So, when I was in first grade, each student had to turn in a paper every week. The teacher called it a journal. The topic was always what you had done the previous week. The paper was one page, tops. The first few months, I did the assignment right and wrote about something new every week. I didn't have much of a life in first grade, so there wasn't much to report. Also, a week was a long time at that age, and the previous weeks all sort of blended together. I began to hate those journals. But one day I realized that if I could barely remember what I had written the week before, there was no way my teacher would remember, since she had 30 stories to read. I gave myself a pat on the back for being so clever and took my first sprint down the long, slippery slope that would lead my grades to where they are today. I started writing the same story every week with small changes in detail. Call me lazy, but I had bigger priorities. First of all, it was clear that becoming a famous basketball star would take a lot of practice, even though I had been given a name that was destined for the Basketball Hall of Fame. Next, there was this girl that sat next to me, Courtney. She was great. But, for that matter, there was a lot of girls around, and they were all great. Except for one girl. Anyway, so one day I'm sitting in class talking to Courtney about God knows what. Mm. Politics, love, mm. I forget. Mm. And my teacher, Mrs. Hyrie, calls my name and asks to speak with me in the front of the room. I knew the jig was up. She flipped through my journal, calling me out for writing the same story over and over. I told her that she was wrong, but I realized that not only had I rewritten the same story, but every week I would rewrite it on the very next page. She told me that I had to write three more one-page stories before the school year ended, or something. I don't know, or else. I forgot to mention that there was only about a month of school left, and even though I had still avoided countless journals, I was furious that she was asking this of me. I began to cry when I returned to my seat. The whole class was staring at me, Courtney was sitting next to me, and I sure felt dumb. She patted my back and told me it was okay. She was great, but I felt like an idiot. I was wondering what Tony was going to say about it later. Tony was the bully that made my life hell.